Hello, I am Shravan, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I am going to show you how to resolve 1227 access denied and define the errors when importing data to an Amazon relational database service for MySQL DB instance using MySQL dump. Let's get started. A 1227 error occurs when the instance has the binary log enabled and the MySQL dump file contains objects such as trigger, view, function or event. So, how do you resolve the 1227 error? We must set the log bin trust function creators parameter to 1 in the parameter group. After signing into the AWS management console, navigate to the RDS console. Choose databases. Then choose the Amazon RDS for MySQL instance that you want to export the data from. Similarly, you can export from a MySQL on-premise instance. Copy the endpoint of the RDS MySQL instance and then connect to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance or your local instance that has the MySQL client installed on it and that has access to the RDS for MySQL instance to export the database. Check the connectivity by logging into the RDS for MySQL instance. After testing the connectivity, log out from the RDS for MySQL instance. Export the test database using MySQL dump that has triggers in it. Run the ls command to see the .sql dump file in the current working directory. We have now successfully exported the test database from the source RTS for MySQL instance. Now we are back in the console, let's choose the target RTS for MySQL instance. Before we can successfully import the dump file on the target RTS for MySQL instance, it's important to know that because the dump file has the trigger DDL in it, we must make sure log bin trust function creators parameter is enabled in the parameter group of the target RDS instance. If your RDS for MySQL instance is running on the default parameter group, then you must create a new custom parameter group and change the parameter log bin trust function creators parameter to 1. Navigate to the parameter groups on the left navigation pane. Choose create parameter group, a create parameter group window appears. In the parameter group family, select the db parameter group family. In the group name box, enter the name of the new parameter group name. In the description box, enter the description of the new parameter group. Choose create. After creating the new custom parameter group, edit the parameter. Use these steps to edit the parameter log bin trust function creators and set the value to 1. Choose the parameter group that you created. Choose the parameter group actions and then choose edit. Change the value parameter log bin trust function creators and set the value as 1 and choose save changes. Now the value is set to 1. Next, modify the instance on the top right corner to attach the new custom parameter group. Then follow this action with a reboot with apply immediately if you want the changes to take effect immediately. Because we have changed the parameter group from default to custom, we must reboot the instance. Choose the instance, go to actions and then choose reboot. After the reboot, confirm that the parameter group is in sync by checking the instance configuration. If the instance is already on a custom parameter group, then you don't need to reboot the instance because the parameter changes are dynamic. These commands listed here that might be present in MySQL dump file aren't allowed in Amazon RDS. Trying to use these commands will result in an access denied error. The reason is that in the RDS environment, you aren't allowed to change these values through an SQL command because you don't have access to the underlying file system. Definer errors are triggered when MySQL attempts to create an object under a database user and that database user doesn't exist on the destination database. Definer errors can be addressed in several ways. Remove the definer line. Rename the definer users. Create or recreate the dump file without definer option. I am navigating to the .sql file location on my EC2. Here is the occurrence. When trying to import the backup file to the destination, I get the definer error access denied because the user is not in the destination database. 
The error states that the user doesn't have required privileges to import the dump and requires super privileges. Amazon RDS for MySQL and Aurora MySQL are managed database services and don't provide super privileges. The user account specified in the dump, that is root, is different from the user admin on the destination when trying to import. This is the reason that the command is failing with the error. Now rename or remove the definer clause in the SQL file. The tool to use is SED. I will show you examples how to rename the definer clause and how to remove the definer clause. To rename the definer clause, use this command. To remove the definer clause, use this command. Verify that the definer clause is renamed. Now try to import the file. We can see the command is successful now. Validate the data by logging into the instance. We can also see the DDL for triggers. And now you know how to resolve 1227 access denied and definer errors when importing data to an RDS for MySQL DB instance using MySQL dump. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.